Hi, I'm Hannah Jarvis, and this is After the Final Curtain with Noreen Heron and Associates. So what can viewers expect new from this show than other productions of Little Shop of Horrors? Well, I think one of the big things is that you'll definitely see a lot of us. <laughs> they're sort of Greek chorus. They're in, they're in the scene, they're, they break the fourth wall, they talk to the audience, and they're very involved in and out of the show. As opposed to us just being there on the outside telling the story, we're, we're also very much kind of intertangled into the whole story. Yes, you go downtown where the cats don't stop. Downtown where the food is slop. Downtown where the hot is hot in the snow. Down on Skid Row. Stacey went a little darker with this one and she wanted it to be really honest. We take a few liberties with things that, that skew it in the darker direction. Getting in touch with the dark side. <laughs> He's got his facts all straight. Just so my conscience will rest easy. You know he's on your trail. If you don't, I'll have to go tell them myself. He's gonna turn you in. Now will you come? They're gonna put you in jail. Okay. He's USD. I'll go lock up. We'll head over. There are a lot of themes in it that are serious, but the way it's handled, it's handled sort of sometimes lightly, sometimes tongue in cheek, and it's a nice way to take things in and be affected emotionally, sort of surprisingly. is awesome. Uh, Stacey Flaster, who directed our show, uh, we've all commented to her numerous times about how perfect this cast is. They have been so supportive and so wonderful, and I get to work with the most amazing professionals, so I feel so blessed. The entire cast, actually, we really bonded. Um, yes. When you want to tell a story at the level that Stacey Flaster wants to tell yes. it, it's a, you really have to bond. It was a wonderful process, and I just have loved every second of it. I'm really sad that it's over. <laughs>